watching. We do have a warning for Metro riders this morning. Metro Transit officers will begin cracking down on fare evaders starting tomorrow. It's all part of a plan to address a multi-million dollar fare evasion problem. Maureen Ume, live in Northwest, with the latest for us this morning. Morning, Mo. Hey, good morning. It's a $40 million problem. So right now they're going to start giving tickets tomorrow for folks who jump those turnstiles, use those emergency gates improperly, or don't tap their fare card on Metro buses. Uh, Metro's been warning folks for more than a month now that this is going to be happening. So those fines will be $50 in D.C. In Maryland and Virginia, the fine could be up to $100. And, of course, riders we spoke to say, you know, they've got mixed feelings about this. Take a listen. I disagree with that because right now we're just coming out of the pandemic and everything and it's primarily young people, kids, they don't have the fare, but I see elderly people as well. And it's something that the city really needs to consider another alternative rather than penalizing people when they're just trying to get from point A to point B. I think it's an awesome idea. Um, I, when I ride, ride the metro, I pay. There's nothing wrong. If people have issues, they can reach out for help. Well, officials uh, say they are working with local partners to offer resources to make public transit more equitable and affordable for those in need. And Metro is also expected to begin testing fear gate modifications as a preventative measure. But again, starting tomorrow, they will start issuing those citations to folks who do jump uh, the fare gates and et cetera, not paying their fare. Metro says right now they have a $185 million shortfall from fare jumpers each and every year. Back to you. All right, the story brings us to our Fox 5 Instapol, where today we're asking how should Metro respond to fare evaders? Should they issue a warning, a fine, deal out no punishment, or something else? 90%, almost everybody say fine at this point. And you can vote by scanning the QR code in the upper right. You can visit fox5dc.com, or you can download the free Fox 5 app. In our